What's going on YouTube? Are you struggling to get that green light on Yoast SEO? No matter what you do, you continue getting slapped in the face with that red or orange light, but well, we've all been there. So I'm gonna be taking you step by step on each optimization that you need to do to get that green light on Yoast SEO. And the same optimizations can be done on Rank Math as well, as I know that that's also a very popular SEO tool when it comes to WordPress. All right, guys, now we are on my laptop. So as you can see here, I have an example of a blog post um, that I'm working on, right? And what we're gonna do here is we're going to make this, uh, the SEO analysis score turn green, right? That's usually what we wanna see in regards of Yoast SEO. And that really just comes down to, uh, let me scroll down here. Uh, to following these recommendations here, right? You can see all these different recommendations that they give you. Um, and if you do enough of these, uh, the score will eventually turn green, right? Um, and that's what people usually like to see. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to slowly one by one, knock each one of these out as many as we can until, um, you know, the, uh, it, till the score turns green, right? Um, so first, what we want to do here is we first want to do an outbound link, right? And this just means you're doing an external link to another website that's related to whatever you're talking about, the content, right? So what you want to do here is you want to scan um, through your content to see where you can outer link, right? Um, and where I'm going to do a outer link is I'm going to do an outer link right here. You can see we're talking about fertilization and weed control. And here, the uh, where I'm going to actually put the external link is under where it says high quality fertilizers. Um, so let me just grab my link. All right, guys, so this is the article that I'm going to be outer linking to. You can see here, it's talking about the eight best fertilizers of 2020. You can see it's not in direct com competition with our blog. Our blog is mainly talking about lawn care versus landscaping, you know, what is the difference? Um, so it's not a direct competitor, but it's still related to, you know, some of the content that we're talking about. So you usually want to find other articles or blogs that are ranking highly um, that you can do an external link to, right? So what we want to do here is let's just copy the URL and then let's go over here and we simply are going to highlight high quality fertilizers and then let's put the link. Let's paste the link in there. And then if we scroll down, we should see, you can see here, it says outbound link, good job. Um, so before we go any further, let me go ahead and put my focus keyword um, correctly. So you can see here, it's very broad. It just says lawn care. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, let's do lawn care versus landscaping, right? And I found this keyword through doing my keyword research, right? Make sure you're doing your keyword research first before even starting to do your Yoast SEO, you know, on page optimization, right? So this is going to be our focus keyword here. And we're basically going to revolve these recommendations around our keyword, right? So now that we did the external link, what we have next is an internal link. And this is exactly like the external link, except we want to interlink to another page on our actual website, right? So we, this is for two reasons. Um, one, for user navigation, right? So we can drive users to see different pages on our website and two for Google as they crawl all the links that are on your actual web page in order to better understand what that content is about, right? So we do wanna make sure we're internally linking to relevant pages on our website. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to interlink to our homepage, right? This would be a good keyword to link back to our homepage. Again, our homepage is also focused around lawn care, um, landscaping, right? So this would be a good a good key, key phrase to link back to our homepage. So let me just go ahead and put our homepage in here, copy and paste that in there. So now we have an internal link, right? This is going back to the homepage. So if we scroll down again, we will see, sorry, we'll see that the internal link is taken care of, right? So we're good to go on that. All right, guys, then we have the key phrase in the introduction, right? So this is another recommended on-page uh, optimization that you can do, right? Including the key phrase in the introduction, right? And you usually wanna do this in the first sentence or two. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a place where I can actually 
uh, include our key phrase in the beginning of the paragraph. So let me see where could I include this? All right, guys, so I was able to include our key phrase in the beginning of our article, right? So you can see here, I added a sentence. Uh, it says, so here you will be able to identify the main differences when it comes to lawn care versus landscaping, right? So you usually just wanna see how you can fit it in in the beginning paragraph. You usually will have to add a new sentence or modify a sentence in order to get your key phrase to actually make sense, right? You don't just wanna make it look uh, like you're just plugging it in there for no reason. You want to make it flow and you want it to make sense. So if we scroll down, we can see that the key phrase in the introduction is taken care of. And then let's take a look at what else we need to take care of. Now we have the meta description link. Um, and we currently don't have a meta description, but what you want to do in the meta description is you want to make it long enough and you also want to make sure you're included your key phrase or keyword in it as well. So let me go ahead and type in uh, the meta description for this. All right, so here's my meta description. Are you wondering what are the actual differences with lawn care versus landscaping services? You can find all the differences in this article. Read more now. Usually wanna add a call to action, you know, just to entice people to wanna click um, on your article, right? And that's gonna take care of the meta description right here. Uh, you can see key phrase or cinema appear in the meta description, well done. And again, I have my key phrase right here in the meta description, right? So what we have next is, let's see, key phrase and subheading. So I usually put the key phrase in the header one, and this is simply because your header one has the greatest importance when it comes to your header tags. So you have a header one, header two, and so forth. But your header one should include your key phrase or your keywords. Um, even when you're writing an article, right? And your header one is usually gonna be very similar to your title. Um, but first, let's change up this title, right? I wanna make it look a little bit better. Um, you can see it says, what is the difference lawn care versus landscaping? So let me make this a little bit better. You usually wanna include your keyword at the beginning. So let me see what I can come up with. All right, guys, so this is what I came up here. You can see I have my key phrase at the beginning lawn care versus landscaping. What is the difference? And then here I put a little bit more just to help this title stand out, right? Five differences. So people, if they're scrolling through, you know, Google and they see that I'm mentioning five differences versus a competitor, um, you know, they're probably going to want to click on our listing, right? We're going to have the best information when it comes to this topic. Um, so this, this is a little hint, you know, you can add numbers. Um, numbers are going to help your title tag stand out. So I highly recommend to put do. some type of characters that is going to make your title stand out. Right. And again, you want to have your key phrase at the beginning. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we're also going to put it here in our title tag. So you can see the SEO title. Um, you can see here SEO title with the SEO title is too short. So let's go ahead and copy and paste, uh, our title and that should be just the right amount, right? So now it looks a lot better and you can see that it went away. SEO title with good job. All right guys, and now to take care of the last thing, which is key phrase and subheading, let me quickly show you straight from Yoast SEO how this should actually be implemented. So you can see here, um, your main topic has the H1 and then your subtopic has the H2 and then whichever questions you're answering under your H2 should have a H3, right? These are more specific answers, right? Specific to the topic, um, which should be your H2. So this is kind of how you should structure um, your header tags. Um, and this is kind of what they recommend as well. So, so we have our header one up here, and now I'm going to repeat the header two right here you can see it's a header two and then we have our header three and now you can see here these are uh, specific answers to our header two right you can see right here uh, where is it key phrase and subheading five of your higher level subheadings reflect the topic of your copy good job and that's pretty much it guys. So this uh, is appearing because this is a copy of another blog. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do to get the infamous green light from Yoast SEO. 
that's really all it takes is to knock those recommendations out one by one, right? So that's the end of this video, guys. If you like, please leave me a like and hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out to continue making these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.